Who knows what's going to happen to Tori? <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, yeah, no, that's really kind of where it is. I mean, I. Uh, but in the meantime, are you are you writing? Yeah. Are you creating? Are yeah. You, and now, are you doing this by yourself? And then yeah. you're going to... Yeah, that's kind of what I do. I'll, I'll... Is that what you've always done? Yeah, for the most part. So, um, it, so in a conversation for this, I, I feel like this has been sitting here. So I was going to show... <laughs> I just you, thought you, you brought a prop from the past. I no, well, I mean, the, the conversation came up like, how do you come across these things, you know? So, yeah. or ideas or songs. And what I used to do was I used to have uh, this cassette player. That actual one? Oh, this is one of them. I've, I've gone through a few of them. Sign this and we'll give it away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know I could buy a new one, so I wouldn't. <laughs> no, other, I mean, other than I kidding. need it. My dad, I, I'll tell you a quick story. My dad had one of these, and he took me and my sister to see Johnny Cash at the Springfield Civic Center. Oh, my gosh, that's awesome. Way back when I was like five years old. Did you old. have it in his pocket to record it? He snuck, he snuck this in and recorded it. One this size, not the small one. He had it was winter. He had it under his coat. It was different back in the seventies. Yeah, you know, yeah, you sure. could walk in with a keg if you wanted to, and um, so he has a recording, and all you hear is because <laughs> it's all it has is a yeah, yeah, no, mic. No, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, he tried. He he did he try. Tried. He was bootlegging shows yeah, in the seventies. Yeah. That's great. Um, how was the show? The show was great, but I'm, was, I'm right? you know I was. Five years old, I right. remember very little of it. Right. It was in Springfield. It was your hometown. Yeah, no, for sure. So what I used to do is that like a year would start. So like this this one is 13-1. Uh, so that's 2013, the first tape that I nice. started of that year. So I would take it. cassette too. Oh, yeah. Nothing but the best. <laughs> <laughs> I remember walking into, it might be like an office max or something. There's some kid working there. And I uh, like... <laughs> You guys have cassette tapes? He's like, huh? <laughs> what? You did this recently? I mean, it wasn't that. I mean, <laughs> well, whatever, however long ago Office Max was still around. I think they, they've closed years ago. I just ago, saw so. one the other day. Oh, you did? But I live in New York now. It's different. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's a cutting edge in <laughs> where you are. <laughs> but uh, anyways, yeah, he had no idea what they were. How do you like the manager? Oh, man. And they had them, though. But uh, anyways. <laughs> the manager knew? Well, yeah. That's good. So I used to just keep this next to me. Whenever I <laughs> would play and I'd come up with an idea that I liked, I would just hit record on this and I'd talk into it. Right. So you would get something like. All right, I'm going to throw this down and uh, standard tuning. So Because I, I have so many tunings, I'd say what I tuned it to. So I was playing, I came up with this, I liked it. Mm -hmm. So this, I would just play it into the tape so I wouldn't forget it. That's so cool. Yeah. You got a lot of these? Boxes. Really? Boxes. Yep. So this, this was in here. I just ran to the beginning and I heard this. Mm -hmm. um, Don't hit record. <laughs> no, I, I know. Actually, the, well, the funny thing is, is that I, I, I actually, that actually was used on something. There was, around that time, I was written some songs for some like um uh bad music for movies oh yeah and this was actually in a documentary huh about uh hurricane sandy really yeah wow yeah and that's how i wrote it. i was actually wa watching this devastation of the storm that's when i wrote that too huh and it went into so you're that. watching it and yeah. coming up with what you were feeling from watching mm -hmm. it wow. yeah so that's what that's from but actually I love that riff. Yeah. I really like that. I always wanted it to be a song and somebody to, to sing over it. Can you do that now that you've used it for a documentary? Yeah, I'm going to. It's, <laughs> it's yours, right? Yeah, no, totally. <laughs> you could you, yourself. <laughs> hey, it wasn't like it was the Godfather and everybody in the world's heard it, right? I mean, so who's going to know? Now, now on Let It Riff, they're going to now, you know. Try to track mean, down <laughs> that Sandy. Yeah. Or they're going to go documentary and try to hear that song. But riff yes, on it. So... So there's so this tape's just filled with ideas like that. That's so and, cool. And so, but how often do you refer back to that when you're creating? Well, that's the thing. I I because you artists are always moving forward, and you know. And, well, so I I haven't. So there are boxes of them, and I, it was one of those things that I always wanted to do is go back and kind of go through them. Yeah. But that's where like all, all those stain records. You'll. I mean, I remember that song. The song right here. That's what I I just put a tape in, and I heard that riff to right here. 
Yeah, that and guy's I, good. And I went, <laughs> but I have no recollection of ever playing it or writing it. That's why I have to explain, you know, the tuning because I was yeah. the different tunings and stuff. So um, that's where the song ended up coming from because I heard that. And so it, like it kind of sparks other things. So that's why even if there's something I just kind of think there's something there, I'll just throw it on tape. And a lot of it's garbage probably. 